Well, welcome back to Party Night Live on the Iowa Sports Connection Radio Network. Of course, uh, brought to you by hy V and Casey's General Stores. Pick up a copy of the magazine at 446 great locations across the state, as well as the Five Shields in Sioux City, Iowa City, Cedar Falls, Waterloo, and right here at Jordan Creek in West Des Moines. Now let's dive into a wrestling conversation with Martinsdale St. Mary. You know, they don't just play baseball down there. They, <laughs> they, they wrestle a little bit, too. Martinsdale St. Mary's head coach, Brian Sweet, kind enough to join us on Friday Night Live. Good evening, Coach. How are you guys? Doing well, Coach. A nice season so far. The Blue Devils having a great wrestling season. The sports programs on the boys' side really enjoying things, and even on the girls' side in basketball. But let's talk about your wrestlers out there and uh, where you're at this season. I know we've tried to get a hold of you a few times, but you've been busy with a lot of tournaments yourself. So talk about where you set so far and how you feel about the season so far in progress. Well, dual meet wise, we're we're 14 and four right now, and. Um, you know, we're kind of getting down to the end of the season and trying to make a late push here. But, um, you know, we wrestle a lot of great competition, and we'll add to it tomorrow and see how we come out of the well, Truro <laughs> tournament tomorrow. Well, I was going to say, uh, not, you don't have to go very far in, in, in Warren County with the Interstate 35 of Truro, a great rivalry, Southeast Warren of Liberty Center. Used to have some pretty good wrestling program there. They still have some individual wrestlers. It'll bring some problems with Indy Nola in the area as well and stuff. Uh, some good wrestling right there in the area for you. You bet. Yep. We we see it day in and day out, and you know that's that's you, if you want to be the best, you got to wrestle the best. And our athletic director Ron Peterson has done a great job with our scheduling. And you know, there's probably not a lot of one A schools that that see the competition that we see every day. So. Well, let's talk about some of your wrestlers. You talk about being number one, and one of your young men are number one at 140 pounds. He's Robert Walker, just a junior. Uh, that's a pretty good pedestal to stand on as a 140-pound junior. Uh, he's, he's a great leader for us. Um, you know, he, he won it last year as a sophomore. He's undefeated 26-0 this year and, um, you know, looking to repeat this year. Hey, uh, Brian, we have uh, one of our insiders here out of the predicament. Uh, Wyatt Schultz joins us. He'd like to ask you a question if you'd like. You bet. Yeah, I was just wondering, uh, uh, I know you like to or try to get the best competition you can. Uh, have, have you guys wrestled Logan yet? We haven't, no. I was we, don't, we don't get up that way very much. Um, I, we've actually never ever wrestled until we get to the state tournament. But oh, you know, ho- hopefully the people we see you know, during the season prepares us for you know, when we do match up with them. Yeah, because I was just kind of curious to know whether Walker met Oviat yet. And, uh, no. Just curious to see how that one came out. But if he was 26 and 0, if he did wrestle him, he'd already beat him. So, yep. Well, Brian, looking at your wrestling team, uh, the the lighter weight class, the lower weight class is where your strength is at. Uh, uh, let's talk about some of those kids that are definitely going to be taking advantage of some points for you as you move to the season. And, and how about the bigger weight, the heavier weight classes? Uh, do you have any potential coming out of those? Well, yeah, you bet. I, our young kids are they're getting better every day. You know, it seems like. You know, we've got the kids that's been wrestling a few years, and then we got we got the boys that come out, you know, later on and and don't have a lot of experience, but they're they're getting better every day, and uh, you know that's what we're shooting for. And you know, like you said, our lower weights are definitely our strength. You know, we got a freshman at 103 that's Dylan Gibson. He's 22 and 0, and you know, in the old days when we started that, we'd like to start at 103 right now because he really gets the ball rolling for us. Over at 112 pounds, you keep it going with Taylor Hagen. He's also a junior, so another underclassman that's going to be able to score for you as well. And then another junior at 119 pounds, ranked in the top 10 by the predicament. Yep, both those guys. You know, Taylor Hagen's at 12. He's he's 25 and four right now, and you know I think only one of those lost are at 112. And you know Cole just got into the lineup there after um, Christmas. He's sitting at 12 and one, and. You know, he's right there with Robert. He's one of our hardest workers in the room. And, you know, I think that makes what makes our boys tough is they got good uh, workout partners every day when they step in the room. And, you know, they get up there and they, they brawl and fight. And, you know, they work at what they're doing and get better every day. Now, Cole, does he have relatives over there in the I-35 district as well? Because that name seems familiar to me. Well, yeah, they, they actually started out at Martinsville St. Mary's and then they transferred down there for a few years. And, and uh, Cole grew up with the, the Walker boys, and, you know, he come back over to Martinsdale, and um, great kid to have in the room. Sounds like a family feud to me. <laughs> <laughs> Coach loves that. Hey, Coach, talk about yourself. Uh, are you from Martinsdale St. Mary's, your wrestling world? Where did it come from? Did you wrestle in high school, college? And just tell us a little bit about yourself. 
Well, you know, I don't like to talk about my myself a whole lot. You know, it's about the boys in the program. And but I did. I graduated from Martinsville St. Mary's. I went to William Penn College and wrestled over there, and and um, been coaching at back at Martinsville for I think it's twenty third year now. Holy moly! You know, it's amazing when we talk to coaches that have that emotional equity at their alma mater. How committed they are. That's probably been an absolute blast for you to be uh, back there in your alma mater and lead these young men all these years. Yeah, there's, there's no place I'd rather be, and, you know, I wouldn't coach for anybody else, and, you know, we don't have the people, you know, we only got 14 boys out, but it's a close-knit group and the families, and, you know, everybody gets along, and, you know, it's a great atmosphere when when uh, things are going well, and all the time. <laughs> well, Coach, it's been an outstanding season so far. Your team is well-recognized. I know your kids are working hard, and there's a lot of goals that are, they're trying to reach, and, and one of them is to at least qualify for that state tournament, and then from there you take it one match at a time to see where you can stand on that on those pedestals at the end of the state championship meet. But uh, we wish you the best of luck and appreciate you coming on Friday Night Live. Hey, no problem. Appreciate what you guys do for us. All right, that's Brian Sweet, uh, Martinsdale St. Mary's. Everybody thinks they just played a little baseball down there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Coach Sweet, 23 years down there, Wyatt. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't realize that either. You know the amazing thing, Wyatt, and you talk to these guys all the time, is how many guys are returned to, you know, Denver Tripolo is a prime example as well. How many guys return to their alma mater yep. and, uh, you know, are, are in the room, as the coaches say, working with these kids because they got the pride in the school. We see it a lot in, in the sports we cover, and it's amazing how many young young men – and, and, and they gravitate back to their hometowns, and then they stay there and stay for a couple of decades in this case. Right. And, uh, you know, another one from uh, basically the metro area that, that kind of surprised me was Gene Hildreth. Uh, I think he graduated from North, North or Hoover. I, I can't remember which one. But that was what he wanted to do was come back to that school and coach a lot of dedicate it's a dedicated sport in the first place and and i think it carries on through it's something i mean that that is that takes a lot of time can I effort have, can i have a little fun with why sure what are you gonna do to him i'm well, gonna i'm here to protect him from you well, he's got no kid hey protect him his brother's outside they, they they take the two of us and snap us in half where did you go to high school and where did you wrestle? Or are you just a fan of the sport? You had to, you look well, like a wrestler. I, I'm a fan of the sport. I grew up in Postville. Uh, and actually, I, I, I have a brother up there that coaches basketball. So, <laughs> oh, the truth comes out. Yeah, yeah Daryl Daryl's the coach up there for girls basketball. Brad's the one in the back room. So, uh, well, we got to get your brother on to talk a little girls basketball. Sometime. Oh, yeah, we could do that too. Yeah, that, that'd we'll be kind of we'll, fun. We'll see if he can talk a little round ball the way he talks uh, wrestling. But did, did you wrestle in high school? Yes, I did. That was uh, early seventies. And what's so, the nickname of Postville? Pirates. The Pirates. The Postville Pirates. I kind of right. like that. You don't hear of that very often in the state of Iowa. All right. Yeah. When we return, we'll continue conversations. Uh, we're going to talk uh, a little more wrestling with Wyatt. We'll continue on with the Ed Winger Invitational. And then we'll talk to uh, Simpsons women's basketball coach Brian Nemeth. We'll switch gears on you and talk a little basketball. And then we've got some live reports going in. Uh, two games we're watching tonight. We'll be back on Friday Night Live on the Iowa Sports Connection Radio Network. 